Yeah. Especially when it's one with all that frosting. Oh, it is a fork. Oh, <laughs> overrated. Convenient. Overrated. Eat with your hands. So this uh, little family business is opening its 13th location in Dallas tomorrow. Fox 4's Dan Godwin already inside the new home of the Cake Boss. Good morning, Dan. Well, good morning, Lauren. And the showcase here is steadily filling up. Strawberry cheesecake, cannoli cake, strawberry shortcake, red velvet cake, bow and dot cake at spring seasonal layer cake. Let's send our photographer, Wally Gare. We're going to send him around the corner here so we can get a, a closer look at all that's already going on here. As Tim and Lauren mentioned, this is the 13th Carlos Bakery. Uh, some people ask, why Dallas? Well, the cake boss himself, Buddy Velastro, says at the original location of Carlos, up in Hoboken, New Jersey, he kept meeting people from Texas who traveled all the way there to meet him, maybe make some purchases. And Buddy figured, Texas is coming to us. We should come to Texas. And here is the cake boss, hey. Buddy Velastro. Hello. How are we doing, my friend? How's everything? Doing, we're doing very well. And in well, fact, you can, uh, you can uh, show us some of your technique here. What's, what's happening? All right. So what I'm doing here is I'm making a cupcake, and I am just piping a little rose on there. How does that look? Not bad? That's remarkable. You make it look easy. How, how long does it take to get that proficient at the paper? I don't know. I've been doing it a long time, but we're just so excited to be here in Dallas and bring a little bit of Jersey love here in Texas. And uh, you know what they say, everything's bigger in Texas, so I'm going to have to really do a really big cake here. Probably be the biggest we ever made, so we're looking forward to that as well. And actually, I got a little cupcake for you to taste. Here, go ahead, get in there, bro. Oh, Tell okay. me how it tastes. I'll All right. Oh, you can hold it. I'll hold it. I'll take mm. care of you. Mm. What do you think, Dan? Oh, that's sensational. What do you call that? That's our Oreo cupcake. Oreo cupcake. They yes, yes, call yes, us indeed. the boss for, you know, for being the boss. Uh, you know, Cake Boss, the show, has made you very famous. And a lot of people would think, oh, that's so great to be recognized everywhere you go. Is it, is it all it's cracked up to be? Well, honestly, the people who are my fans are just the most awesome, endearing, you know, fans in the world. So when you see that you're inspiring little kids that want to bake and, and you're bringing families together, it's an awesome thing. Yeah, sometimes if you're on vacation and... Uh, you know, you, you're laying on the beach and you're eating a sandwich and somebody wants you to take a picture. Sometimes that gets annoying, but honestly, most of my fans just are so inspired by what I do. So I don't mind that. I love the fans. And actually, tomorrow, I'll be taking pictures with the fans all day. I'll be yeah. here. It'll be oh, yeah. an awesome time. Bring the familia. It's going to be crazy. Uh, uh, really, a show and a story about family, the American dream, and baking as well. Buddy, thank you so much. Uh, Thanks, best Dan. of luck. Uh, it's tomorrow. Uh, 8.30, the opening here, Carlos Bakery, Preston Road, just south of Northwest Highway. Reporting live, this is Dan and Buddy. Back to Tim and Lauren. I think he just teased ahead, saying he's going to make the biggest cake ever, which is what he always says. Ever. He's always like, I'm going to make the biggest one on this, this time. Then I'm going to make the biggest one this time. So. Texas size is saying something. I'd like that. It's